again welcome back to my delecto so today we are going to discuss carpal bone so let's start so actually it's become quite interesting when you discuss something that is related to ourselves so actually it is a topic that is related to our body and that is the carpal bones that are actually if i say that we are going to discuss the wrist of our body so actually the word carpal is derived from the greek word carpos and that means wrist in our body you will see the eight carpal bones that is in our wrist you see the eight bones but on the other hand if we do comparison with the ankle of our body then you see the seven bones in our ankle so this is actually the basic difference okay so before we start you should again know the basic graph that is most important when you are studying anatomy so i would suggest that you make this map and put it on the table where you study okay so that is the this graph medial lateral posterior anterior or you can say dorsal and ventral okay superior and inferior these are basic terminologies that should be on your fingertips okay so we start from here like this is the palmar aspects of the hand and that is actually the right hand okay and if you see like this as we have discussed that this is the lateral side of the hand and this is the medial side lateral away from the uh, <clears throat> center of the body okay now we divide the carpal bone into eight and we divide it into two rows so if you see here uh, we discuss that the carpal bone we divide it into two rows okay if you see here first is the proximal row proximal and second is the distal row so basically two row if you see here so you can easily understand that first row will be the proximal why do we call it proximal because first row is near to the center of our body and the second row is away from the center of the body that's why we call the second row as distal row so this is the proximal row and second is the distal row okay and in each row you will see four bones so this is an important point in each row you will see the four bones okay now we will discuss first row proximal row from the lateral to the medial side actually what bones actually fall in the proximal row so first bone that is most important bone is the scaphoid bone so that is the scaphoid bone that is the first bone and that is present at the lateral side here is the scaphoid bone this one okay next is the lunate bone this is the lunate bone so here lunate okay scaphoid actually scaphoid means board like it is actually a board shape bone that is actually present at the lateral next is the lunate that is actually similar to the half moon like or crescent shape bone that is the lunate okay if we move towards the medial side next the third one bone will be the triquetral bone triquetral bone having three sides pyramidal or triangular shape and that is the triquetral bone so you just focus on the words the meaning or the 
मीनिंग ऑफ द बॉन इज इन द वर्ड ऑफ दैट बॉन ओके सो दैट इज द ट्राइक्विटरल मीन ट्राइ मीन थ्री ओके एंड लास्ट इज द पैसी फॉर्म बॉन सो दिस इज एक्चुअली द लास्ट बॉन एंड दैट इज द पैसी फॉर्म ओके दैट इज एक्चुअली द पी लाइट पी पी स्टैंड फॉर पी पैसी फॉर्म दैट विल रिमाइंड यू दैट पैसी फॉर्म ए पी पैसी फॉर्म स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पी एंड पी also start from the p so this is actually the word and you can remember it by the s l t p from the lateral to the medial side this is actually the first row proximal row second is the second if you see here like this is the second distal row and starting from the lateral side you will see the first bone is the trabezium what type of bone actually fall in the trabezium bond trabezium trabezium this is actually a structure trabezium like a structure and that's why we call it trabezium bond okay if we move forward then next is the trapezoid bond what type of bond trapezoid bond actually fall in this category so trapezoid trapezoid actually means baby shoe actually this is actually look like the baby shoe if we move forward then next bond is the capitate it is actually if you see here like capitate okay capitate mean means it look like it has a head so that's why it is called the capitate and the last that is actually present at the medial side is actually last bond and that is hemate so if i write with the blue color so that is actually the hemate bond and that actually the uh, look like hook like or wedge shape structure that is the hemate and you can remember it by the t t c h that is actually the second row distal row okay now we will discuss the important features of the carpal bonds that are actually eight in number so starting again from the proximal row so if you see here like first is the proximal row proximal row okay now if you see at the here is the proximal row and proximal row has again two parts proximal side and the distal side okay now the proximal row of the proximal side if i say it like like this is the proximal row and that proximal row has again two side proximal side and the distal side so if you see here like this is the proximal side and this is the distal side of proximal row okay so if you see here like the this one proximal proximal side of the proximal row is actually what what type of shape this one this shape is actually convex so convex shape okay as you know that the, there is a convex lens and that is actually this one convex lens okay and the distal is actually concave like a structure like if you see here like distal is actually look like concave and that actually it will look like this one concave lens okay so if you see like it will become actually this shape if i look at this side that it will look like convex and if i look from opposite side here if i see from here then it will look like the concave so this is the important point and if if you look from the proximal side then it will look like convex then and if you look from the distal side then it will look like concave okay next is the second row and that is the distal row distal row okay again it has two sides proximal and distal proximal if you see like the proximal proximal will be again convex but if you talk about the distal 
then it will be the flat distal will be the flat in this case so this is actually flat hope so you got the point okay next thing each carbal bond has six side so this is an important point each bond has six surfaces or six sides this is an other important point okay you see that the you see basically uh, carpal bonds you see the two aspects palmar aspects that is actually present at the palm side and you will see the opposite will be the dorsal aspects okay and you will see that the at the dorsal and the at the palmar surfaces sides you will know any attachment of the bone it's mean that at the uh, palmar and at the dorsal aspects there will be no attachment of any carpal bone except two bone so that two bone is actually the triquetral and the passiform these two bones have attachment at the this dorsal sides and the palmar side but the other all other carpal bones have no any articular side at the palmar and the dorsal surfaces okay next important things at the lateral side you will see the two bone iscaphoid if i write with the this is the iscaphoid okay and this is actually the trapezium so at the lateral side you will see the two bones okay now if you see there will be at this side at the lateral side you will never see the any attachment so this is an important point you will see the two bone iscaphoid and trapezium they have no any attachment or articular side at the lateral side so this is an important another important point okay next is the if you see at the medium side medial side you again see three bones so if you see here like this is the he made okay now this is the triquetral and this is the passiform bone these bones again have no attachment at the medial side at the medial side so again you will see the triquetral passiform and the he made these bones again have no attachment side at the medial side so this is an other important point and last most important thing if you see like dorsal surfaces of all these bones is larger than the palmar surfaces okay this is an other important point dorsal surface of carpal bone is larger than the palmar surface but except the one and that bone is the lunate this one lunate has opposite lunate at the palmar side you will see the lunate has larger surface as compared to the dorsal side so this is an exception case for the lunate and that has opposite to all other carpal bones so this is actually the general Uh, properties of the carpal bones in the upcoming video we will discuss the specific features of each carpal bone so this is all about the carpal bone if you have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much